Don't tarnish your business name before you start. Ferris here. In my marketing series, I talked about social media presence. Here are three quick tips to make sure you're presenting your new consulting business in a professional way. First, decide which platforms you want to be on. According to datareportal.com, there are 15 social media platforms with over 400 million users each. The mistake is trying to be on all of them. My advice is to go where your clients go. Looking at your target audience information, where do they tend to spend the most time? Pick one platform like LinkedIn to start, but only one or two in the beginning because each platform has its own content requirements and best practices. Trying to understand and master many at once can be a huge drain on your time and attention. And if you're split between a few, test them out and see which ones your audience most responds to. If your competition is on many different platforms, do a bit of checking how effective is their strategy. I advocate emulation, but only emulate the things that work. Before we continue, do you have questions about building your social media presence or other challenges for your consulting or professional services business? Submit the Ask Ferris form at startupwithferris.com. Now you might have a business presence on one or two social platforms, but in this digital age, many of your prospects will be looking for your personal accounts too. If you have no personal accounts, there's nothing to worry about, but chances are you have at least one. Make sure that all your accounts maintain a level of professionalism. This may mean going back and scrubbing old posts or old pictures. It's up to you whether you want to risk new business because of a controversial or inappropriate photo or post. At the very least, you'll probably want to have a professional looking photo and a bio. Lastly, add value. I'll go into content marketing, including social media in an upcoming video. For now, make sure what you decide to post adds value. Sure, the occasional funny cat video is fine, but mostly you should post content that adds value to the audience, your clients, and showcases your unique business thoughts and beliefs. Make sure you're connecting with your audience. People are often looking for connection and want to feel seen and heard. Social media provides the space for you to build that relationship with your customers. And here's what Gary V said about adding value on social media. Giving and taking is a delicate balance and I'd rather be on the giving side. So those are my thoughts on social media presence. Again, one, decide which platform to be on. The one or two where your target audience spends the most time. Two, keep things professional and consider every post and reply. This includes your personal social media accounts. And three, always add value to the online conversation. If you're finding these tips helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel or add a comment on YouTube. And check out startupwithfairs.com to access more resources and to learn how you can give back at any stage of your startup journey.